In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set a time limit inside of Google Forms and stick around towards the end as I'll be showing the best tool to set a countdown timer inside of your forms. Hey guys, welcome back to Google Tutorials where we give you the best tips and tricks to grow your confidence online. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so that you're the first to get notified every time we launch a brand new video. Also, if you haven't watched the Google Forms playlist so far where we walk you step by step how to create a Google Form from start to finish, make sure to check out the link in the description box below or in the iCard in the top right of your screen. On things such as RSVPs, assessments, or other sorts of tests or feedback forms, sometimes you want to set a limit on how long people have until they need to submit their form. If you want to manually change it, you can go up to responses at the top and then click accepting responses. Then what it will do is it will send a message to somebody who clicks on the link and it will say this form is no longer accepting responses. But this can always be changed. But what if there was a process that it could automatically not accept any more responses after a time limit or a certain amount of responses? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do just that. To do this, all you want to do is go up to the three dots at the top right for more options, then go down to add-ons. Inside of this place, you can get a bunch of different add-ons for your Google Forms. And make sure to let me know in the comments section down below if you would like me to make a video going through some more of the add-ons you can get for Google Forms. But the one that we're interested in is the one here which says Form Limiter. But if it doesn't show up here, go to the search bar at the top and just type in Form Limiter. Then all you want to do is click the blue Install button at the bottom. Then, once it's installed, all you need to do is go up to the top navigation bar and click on this puzzle piece icon here, which is called Add-ons. Then what we want to do is click on Form Limiter. Set a limit. Then it will open this box here. What you want to do is click Select under Limit Type. Then what you have the option to do is to limit it by date and time or the number of form responses. I'm going to show you how to do it by date and time. Then all you need to do is select a date that you want to limit it to. I'm going to limit it to Thursday. And then if you want to, you can select a time. I'm going to leave this to 10 o'clock and click set at the bottom right. Then all you need to do is click save and enable at the bottom left. Now I'm going to show you how to limit it by the number of responses. As we did last time, all you need to do is click select underneath limit type. This time you want to go to number of form responses. Then all you need to do is select how many responses it should be before it's closed. Then click save and enable at the bottom left. When the form is closed, this message will show up to the people who are trying to submit it. It's defaulted to this form is no longer accepting responses and has been set to automatically closed by and then your email address. But you can change this to whatever you want. And to disable any of these, all you need to do is click disable at the bottom right. So that's how you automatically close responses inside of Google Forms. Now I'm going to show you how to create a countdown timer inside of Google Forms. To do this, what you want to do is go up to the three dots for more options, like we did last time, and go down to add-ons like we did last time. But this time we want to click on Quill Go. Again, if it doesn't show up, you can always search for it at the top. Once again, all you need to do is click install at the bottom. Now all you need to do is go up to the puzzle piece icon like we did earlier. But this time we want to click on Quill Go. Then it will open this page. And all you have to do is click on create tests. Then it will create a timer for this form. All you need to do is set a timer duration, for example, three minutes. Then what you need to decide what, you're, what it's going to do after. So auto close the form whenever the time is over, allow to view quiz results or scores after submission, enable camera tracking or hide the timer. But these two are only done through their premium plans. Then click create at the bottom left. So this is what the timer will look like when it's completed. You'll have your form and then at the top you'll have the time limit with the timer going down. But this can also be changed to a solid timer depending on the settings you choose. 
If you're interested in finding out how to allow people to upload files to Google Forms, there'll be a link to a video shown on screen now. Or if you're interested in finding out another video by Google Tutorials, click or tap the screen right now and I'll see you soon.